a ping that some believe might be a message from some distant civilization. ABC 7 News reporter Wayne Friedman has the story. Much ado on planet Earth today about a signal. Not a ring, but a possible ping. The phone has been ringing all morning. It's uh, just a blob of melted plastic on my desk now, yes. Dr. Seth Shostak at the SETI Institute. One look around his Mountain View office, it becomes clear that the man has finding E.T. on his mind. And now the rest of the world does, too, after an unexplained blip that appeared on a Russian radio telescope a year ago last May. And they found a signal that, you know, did this. It started off weak, became strong, and disappeared again. That's exactly the kind of thing you would expect from a signal coming not from the local airport, not from a telecommunication satellite, but from the sky. The signal appears to have come from a star just like our own sun and the constellation Hercules, 95 light years away. That's 500 trillion miles in cosmic terms right next door. We're talking about a message that uh, left its star in 1920 and, you know, finally arrived in Russia in 2015. Dr. Doug Vakoc is as interested in sending messages as he is in receiving. The question now, has anyone else heard the signal from Hercules? The answer is no. It's more likely to have been man-made. But SETI is turning its Paul Allen array in that direction. Whenever you see a signal that appears only once, you've got to be incredibly skeptical. I got it, I got it, I'm patched in. All right, let me hear it. A signal from space is a fanciful concept played up by Hollywood, but it wouldn't be nearly as glamorous as what we see in the movies. More likely, a signal would stand out as one line of order against a background of chaos. <laughs> the first detectable signals from Earth might be something like this, early television. They haven't picked up a... The first detectable signals from Earth might be something like this, early television. They haven't picked up I Love Lucy yet, and there certainly has not been enough time for them to have picked it up, decided they didn't like Fred Mertz's jokes, and sent back some criticism to us, because that would take another 95 years. So. Our signals are not there yet. Our signals are not there yet. They don't know we're here.